Majestic princess known to the people of Earth as Jackie Joyner Kersey. And we are the in laws to that guy. We traveled a million light years to be reunited with a long lost daughter. And a superhero. I personally wasn't familiar with the show, not for anything. To, I didn't, I don't watch any television really except Rachel Maddow. And uh, so I don't, didn't know um, the show. And I got, went online and saw a couple of episodes and I said, I'm in. I, on the other hand, knew the show, and I watch it, and uh, that's no, I, did, I didn't. Okay, you want points, so you're the good guy. Here, right? I am the good guy, <laughs> but it, it wasn't a stretch to play a father again. You know, I'm kind of used to playing father figures, so it wasn't that much of a struggle to do that. You know, so uh, I just fell right into a father, it. A father, a father. A father is a father, even if it's an alien father, it's a father. I'm used to a four-camera sitcom, so they're shy a couple cameras and an audience, actually. You know, I was, it's funny, I was telling Meredith earlier today, I was saying how it's so strange to not be on your own show, you know, to come and be a, a guest on somebody else's show. It's like you have to get used to the new family. You have to get used to the new people that are around you and everything. But so far, it's been wonderful. The people here have been friendly and have been very giving and open. Yeah. And so it's, it's made the transition kind of nice. So it's like, it's like the first day of school, I think. In, in many ways, I know it's, it sounds like I'm playing on things, but it is, you do feel kind of like an alien going on somebody else's show. Yeah. They've had these relationships they've had yeah. for like a year and a half, you're an outsider, yeah. you don't know where craft service is, you're not sure how to get to the bathroom. bathroom. And uh, <laughs> so it's like, mm -hmm. but people yeah. have been so lovely. Yeah. You know, it, it, uh, it, made it was, very easy yeah, no adjustment yeah. at all. And I went right to craft service, made myself home. But can I tell you, I am personally a big fan of this lady right here. I have watched her for since many you were years, a child. <laughs> since I was a child. I do. <laughs> but when they told me that I was working with her, my little heart started to beat like that because I didn't know what to expect because I'm such an you know enamored of her, and I I'm so thrilled to be with her in this 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 thing here. I I'm excited. I'm like a little kid, you know, and so I um oh, I'm having sweet. a ball. Tell me about Meredith Baxter and Reginald guesting on the show. They are my parents, and I'm thrilled. I really actually am beside myself because um, Die Hard is one of my favorite films, and I grew up watching Family Ties. It's one of the only things that my uncle used to record and send to me on VHS, and I actually, so I'm really beside myself. And the first scene I did with them, I kind of hopped into bed with the two of them. It was, yeah, it was like, hi, nice to meet you. I love you guys. Shall we? <laughs> what is it like working with TV icons? It's a little surreal, don't you think? It's great, it yeah. And they slot right into our show, don't they? they it's do. fantastic. Yeah. yeah. It's it's always nice too to have people who you can still learn from, you know, to have a little learning experience every day and just watch what people are doing and they're such pros, you know, it's like yeah. just so easy for them. It's yeah, great. they came up to us and said, Oh, we love the musical episode. It's so fun. So, you know, they're on board, so it feels great. You know, they just slot in nicely. We've already had George Takei come back, who's who's uh, playing uh, my character's father. Uh, he came back at the, the last episode of season one. Uh, we haven't had my mum yet, your no, mother in law. I know. So, um, you I'm know. Really hoping for someone. We're open to suggestions. I have my suggestions. What is it? I'm. I would love Vanessa Williams or Diane Carroll, like someone like. I would think it would be really funny if your mother is yeah. like your mother and yeah. m me. We took the same sort of like look as human beings. I think that would be hilarious. Yeah, we're we're like a Benetton advert, aren't yeah. we? We're yeah. just kind of all races and all yeah. ethnicities. We we don't explain it, which I love. No. Otherwise, you wouldn't have a Brit playing Larry Bird. Or a Nigerian playing Jackie Joyner Kersey. Our writers are really great, so we're, you know, every week we get a new little present and we yeah. read it. And I, I chuckle away to myself. Yeah. I love our scripts. We all get They're very so excited too. We're all like, have you read it yet? Have you read it yet? Yeah. <laughs> we're really excited, yeah. Yeah, because we like, we're, uh, we're really kind of wacky and we're a little bit edgy too. We like to kind of, we like to get, not offensive, but we like to kind of skirt near the, um, close you know. Close to offensive. Yeah, close to offensive <laughs> as we can get without being, you know. That. Well, I grew up watching them, you know. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, they're amazing. They're amazing. Very funny and very charming. Good pick. Good choices. 
Are you fans of Family Ties? And I was a big yeah. Family Ties fan. My family would watch that. We all watched it. My my sister and my parents would sit down and we would laugh how I was like uh, Mike and how my sister was like Mallory. Alex, Alex Keaton and, and Mallory Keaton. So it was, we used to have a good time. That was a great family show, yeah. I actually did a Family Ties, and there's a line in our um, episode where Larry Bird um, pretends that he has two dates to a prom, which is a, uh, I didn't tell Meredith Baxter Bernie this, but I was actually Michael J's Fox two dates to the prom oh, episode wow. with Daphne Zunega. That's so great. Yeah, good times. And I'm making a turducken, which is a chicken shoved into a duck shoved into a turkey, which apparently is a thing. I've never eaten that personally in my own life, um, but I'm excited to taste it in the episode. And she was elbow deep into the bird. She had them on set and she was handling them and sticking them into each other. It was as if she had done it uh, a whole life. It was a great job. Thank you. <laughs>